if it's a free democratic society, there are many different movements within the society. There obviously, in every society, there are people who are against this society. They may be simple criminals, ideologically in disagreement with the, with the state policy, conscientious enemies, simply psychotic personalities who are against anything. Right? All these movements will be directed in one direction, right? This is the time to catch that movement and to continue it until the movement forces the whole society into collapse, into crisis. We don't stop an enemy. We let him go. We help him to go in the direction we want them to go. Okay? Obviously, there are tendencies in each society, in each country, which are going to opposite direction from the basic moral values and principles. To take advantage of these movements, to capitalize on them, is the main purpose of the originator of subversion. So we have religion, we have education, we have a social life, we have power structure, we have labor relations, uh, unions, and finally we have law and order. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? These are the areas of application of subversion. What it means exactly? <clears throat> In case of religion, destroy it, ridicule it, replace it with various sects, cults, which bring people's attention, faith, whether it is naive, primitive, doesn't really matter. As long as the basically accepted religious dogma is being slowly eroded, education, distract them from learning something which is constructive, pragmatic, Teach them history of urban warfare, natural food, uh, <laughs> home economy, your sexuality, anything. As long as it takes you away, okay? Uh, social life. Replace traditionally established institutions and organizations with fake organizations. Take away the initiative from people. Take away the responsibility, power structure. Okay, the natural bodies of administration, which are traditionally either elected by, by people at large or appointed by elected leaders of society, are being actively substituted by artificial bodies. The bodies of people, groups of people, whom nobody elected, never, as a matter of fact, most of the people don't like them at all, and yet they exist. Do not have neither qualification nor the will of people to keep them in power, and yet they do have power. Okay. Together with that, there is another process. Law enforcement, law and order uh, organization and structure is being eroded. For the last 20, 25 years, you, you, if, if you see old movies and new movies, you can see that a policeman, an officer of the United States Army, looks dumb, angry, psychotic, paranoid. A criminal looks nice, and he's unproductive only because society oppresses him. A policeman is a pig, rude policeman. He abuses his power. You know? A generality, generalization like that. The hatred, the mistrust to the People who are supposed to protect you and enforce law and order. Moral relativity. Okay, labor relations. At this stage, within 15 to 20 years, we destroy the traditionally established links of bargaining between employer and employee. Millions of people suffer from that strike. Because economy now is interdependent, it's intertwined like one body. What is the motivation for strike? Improving, improving a, wor a, a worker's condition? No, obviously it's not. Then what is it? Ideology. To prove to these capitalists. And the obedient horde of workers like sheep follow these people. And they cannot disobey. Why? 
Because if they do, you know what happens to them. Tickets. Whenever trade union strikes, we have influx of propaganda, mass media, ideological dissemination. The workers' right, and we repeat it like parrots. Yes, workers' right. To reverse this process, do not elect them to the seats of power, whether it is municipality level, state level, or federal level. It has to be beaten in the heads of American voters that a person like that in the seats of power is an enemy. Do not be afraid of this word. It is an enemy. Strike with the power of your spirit and moral superiority. If you don't have the power, it's high time to develop it. And that's the only answer. That's it.